Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Mods. Welcome to this segment where we're going through some of the coolest mods in the world. I, I The coolest mods in the state of Florida and typically we're going through the mods of the Florida Keys and we've been covering some of the larger Sphinx mods lately and the specifically the genus Eumorpha, which are five species in Florida of Eumorpha. I'm gonna show them to you now, but I'm gonna to focus today on the Ackerman Sphinx, Eumorpha Ackerman. This is not a species that we have found in the Florida Keys, but they feed on grapes and Virginia creeper, so it might show up one day. They, they live throughout the state of Florida. I've just not found one in the Keys in the 20 years I've been down there, but I'm anticipatory. So guys, we're gonna check this out. And guys, here's the deal. I'm big time into helping people identify butterflies and moths. If they don't know what something, you find something, you find a caterpillar, you find a moth on the side of a gas station wall or something like that. Snap a picture with your phone, email it to david at keysmoths.com and I'll do my best to help you identify that species. And so, uh, and you know what? Some really cool records have come about that way. So guys, let's get into the Ackerman Sphinx and I'll show you some cool things about this beauty that lives in Florida. All right, guys, we are going to close out our series on the Eumorpha species of the state of Florida. We've got the Pandora Sphinx, which also does not live in the Florida Keys, but I'm anticipatory because it feeds on grape and there's plenty of grape in the Florida Keys. We've got Eumorpha fasciatus, the banded sphinx, which lives uh, very commonly in the, in the state of Florida. And I found a few strays in the Florida Keys, but its host plant does not live in the Florida Keys. We've got the vine sphinx or Eumorpha vitis, very, very rare moth. I've only seen two in Florida my whole life in almost 40 years of collecting down here. And then of course there's the beauty, Eumorpha labresca, the gaudy sphinx, which is uh, another Eumorpha species that lives in South Florida. We found several of these in the Florida Keys. But today, the guest of honor is the Ackerman Sphinx. And the Ackerman Sphinx, guys, is a stunning creature, especially when they're fresh. I mean, this specimen, believe it or not, is not that fresh. When they're freshly emerged, this kind of drab brown coloration that they have on their wings is, is a lot more electrifying in its color and a lot more impressive looking. This bright pink hind wing here is pretty cool as well, especially when they're fresh, fresh specimen. Uh, it's a strong flying moth, flies at twilight, feeds on various grape species, Ampelopsis, Virginia creeper, and the caterpillar is often confused with the Pandora Sphinx. They have an amazing caterpillar. Now, I've actually never seen an Ackerman Sphinx caterpillar. So if you know how to get one and you want to bless the Keys Moths uh, channel and you know how to find an Ackerman Sphinx caterpillar, I'm inviting you. Please send one to me. I'll pay for the postage. And I would love to raise them and photograph the life cycle. So uh, guys, there's not a whole lot to it. The Ackerman Sphinx is not rare, but it's out, you know, it's not a common moth. It's not an abundant moth. So you see them every now and then, um, probably more commonly seen uh, as adults in the summer months, uh, but it is a stunning moth and, um, you know, look at that thing. That's a Florida bug. So why don't they live in the Keys, guys? And that's, that's an interesting question. Why don't the Pandora Sphinx and the Ackerman Sphinx live in the Keys, whereas these guys, the Gaudy Sphinx, the Vine Sphinx, and the banded sphinx are all in the keys. Now, here's the deal. This group, this group, I believe there's a lot more of them around than, than, than they get credit for. Like we always think of the vine sphinx and the, and the Pandora sphinx as very rare things. But to be honest with you, the banded sphinx doesn't show up at lights very often. But in this case, the caterpillars are everywhere. I know how to find hundreds and hundreds of caterpillars in a day if I'd like to in the month of August, if you just go around and look on the host plant. But 
I have lights out all the time and I very rarely ever see the moth at lights. Every now and then you'll see one, but not often. Now, I think that this group, while they do come to artificial lights, such as mercury vapor and, and black lights, I believe that they're probably not as drawn to those types of lights as other moth species. And so I think they just don't come as readily as, as, as other species. So therefore they get a rap for being rare, but the caterpillars, especially in this species are everywhere. So uh, there's tons of grapevine all over the state of Florida, all over the south, southern United States. And that's why we have beautiful creatures such as the Pandora Sphinx and the Ackerman Sphinx. Um, so hopefully they show up in the Keys. Maybe I'll be able to add the Ackerman Sphinx to the list of moths of the Florida Keys one day. I'm anticipatory. So guys, hope you liked the video. We've got some phenomenal moths of the Florida Keys, like the Faithful Beauty, like this subspecies of the Io moth that we see down there. And you wouldn't think it by this collection here of this Noctuid moth called Escorhibia poei, but this is a very rare moth, <laughs> a very rare moth. Uh, I just found, happened to find a population explosion one day where there are hundreds and hundreds of them. Uh, but I'm gonna explain some cool bugs like this in our future videos. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Also guys, I wouldn't, I'm gonna throw a pitch out to the Southern Lepidopter Society. It's a group of about 200 men and women that are butterfly and moth experts of the Southern United States. And they dedicate their lives to helping people understand more about the beautiful moths and butterflies of the Southern United States. So you can go onto their website. The link to their website is in my description of this video. And we're looking to grow our membership. You can get a membership for about 30 bucks. And you get four new newsletters a year. And there's annual meetings. There's usually field trip meetings as well. And you just get to know a whole bunch of really, really cool people that can help you understand the butterflies and moths of South Florida a lot better. So, guys, check that out. Don't forget to visit my website, keysmoths.com, where we're going to show you all the moths that we've found, the Florida Keys. And we're going to show you as much as we can about them. But, guys, take care. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. And let's find some cool bugs like the Ackerman Sphinx. Take care now.